Steve to have a traditional fun store with me, and try to use this method help him get in touch with the Chinese culture. He also decided to show me the culture he is experiencing and make me be able to have a better understand what Americans would do during their daily lives. With the activity which he was preparing for me, I can feel the culture of him, which is different from myself. During the weekends, we went to camping near a river. This is the first time I went to camping. Before the trip, I was really excited and come up with several imaginations of the upcoming trip. Actually, Chinese don't have this kind of habits, so this experience is also very precious for me. According to Steve's instruction, I have prepared some food, drinks, and warm clothes for the camping. On the first day, we climbed the mountain, played the games Steve used to play with his friends near the river. Both Steve and his friend are really nice to me. When we meet the path in the mountain where it is difficult to walk, they would always ask me to walk among them and protect me well. It is a totally new experience for me, because in China the cities are always very crowded. I think the large population is the reason. We live a fast step and spend our spare time only in cinemas, game center, shopping mall, and so on, but not outside. I was so happy he could give me this chance to get in touch with nature. While I was playing with Steve and his friend, I found that the games are really good for exercising, and an idea just came up into my mind. I heard that parents live in the United States would make their children have lots of opportunities to play outside and do what they like to do. In the natural environment, I tell Steve my thoughts, and he proved my thoughts are correct. However, in China, the situation is exactly inverse. We have lots of homework every day. We need to go to school at seven o'clock in the morning, and leave school at six o'clock in the evening. And our backpack is so heavy, from our primary school to our high school. Even in the weekends, we would go to lots of courses to help us learn better. We don't have time to play with our friends. Do what we like to do, and get in touch with the nature. Study seems to become a punishment, but it can give us happiness. If I can be a teacher one day, I really wish I can give my students a relaxing environment to study, and not study only in the classroom. I want to change the study into an enjoyment and help them study something while they are playing. In the evening. We made a small campfire with the branches of the tree, which are picked near our camp place, and we just sat on the ground, played the guitar, and I saw there are lots of stars in the sky. I really like the stars; they are so beautiful. Actually, I have never seen stars in China, at least not in my hometown. I always heard from my mom and my grandmother to talk about how beautiful the stars are. And there are so many stars in the sky of their childhood, but I have never seen stars by myself, cause there is so much light in the evening, and the development of industry caused a lot of waste air discharged into the sky. The river is also really clean here, but it, sometimes the factory would put the garbage just into the river. In China, I really like the environment here. I hope the government can publish some laws to protect our environment, and I also hope people could have the idea that everyone is responsibility for protecting the environment. On the second day, we pick some fallen leaves and decide to make the leaf sample when we are back. Steve told me to check if we have left anything in the camp place, because we shouldn't influence the whole environment and break its beauty. This is also what we Chinese need to learn from Americans. After the camping, I know I began to fall in love with this activity. When we are camping, we just put ourselves in the nature and experience it with every cell of ourselves.
Actually, I think this is a good idea to fill this world, to fill the different culture between us. I'm really happy and enjoy the trip. I hope that I have a chance to go to more places and try more things that I have never tried before. It is a really nice experience for me. I really like to share my experience with my friends and bring this activity to my friends. I also hope that I can organize some activities that like this when I go back to China. Thank you so much to my friend, and I also want to say thank you to this global intercultural interaction project.